transformative test 1 question 4 the circuit below shows a network of capacitors a potential difference of 50 volt is applied across A and B calculate the equivalent capacitance of the combination of the capacitors Three microfarad and one microfarad capacitors are arranged in parallel. So the C total is three microfarad plus one microfarad. So we get four microfarad. So the combination is four microfarad. Next, twelve and four are arranged in series. So therefore, we use the formula 1 per C total equals to 1 per 12 plus 1 per 4. So we get uh, C total equals to 3 microfarad. So the combination becomes 3 microfarad. Next, 4 microfarad and 3 microfarad. They are arranged now in parallel. So we just add them together. 4 microfarad and 3 microfarad. So we get 7 microfarad. So the combination is 7 microfarad. Therefore, the equivalent capacitance of the combination of capacitors is 7 microfarad. Okay, next, question B. Calculate the charge on each capacitor. So we are going to use formula Q equals to CV. So first we do charge on 4 microfarad capacitor. From the formula Q equals to CV. So the capacitor is 4 microfarad. And the voltage is 50 microfarad. Eh, sorry, 50 volt. So the voltage across 4 microfarad is 50 volt. So 4 times 50, we get 200 microcoulomb. Next, uh, charge on 12 microfarad capacitor. So using the formula Q equals to CV. So C capacitor is 12 microfarad. And the voltage, we don't know. So we need to find the voltage first. We use poten potential divider formula to find V. So the V across 12 microfarad is uh, C2 uh, per C1 plus C2 times the voltage total. So just now we get the combination of capacitance here is 4 microfarad. So this is C2. And C1 will be 12 microfarad. So we substitute into the equation here. C2 is 4. And C1 is 12. So therefore 4 per 4 plus 12. Times the voltage. So the total voltage across uh, both of them. 12 microfarad and 4 microfarad is 50 volts. Okay, we solve this, we get 12.5 volts. So, we substitute into the Q here. Q equals to CV. So, the answer is 150 microcoulomb. So, the charge on 12 microfarad capacitor is 150 microcoulomb. Okay, next we are going to find uh, the charge on 4 microfarad. So the voltage across 4 microfarad will be 50 minus 12.5. We get 37.5. So the total of voltage 
V1 and V2 must be 50 volts. So we can use this V sub into the Q equals to CV for 3 microfarad capacitor. So for 3 microfarad capacitor, okay, 3 microfarad and the voltage across it is 37.5. So the charge is 112.5 microcoulomb. Okay, next the charge on 1 microfarad capacitor. Okay, the C is 1 microfarad and the voltage across it also 37.5 because they are arranged parallel. So the charge on 1 microfarad is 37.5 microcoulomb. Okay, so done for question B. Next question C. How much energy is stored in the capacitors? So the formula is equals uh, U equals to half QV or U equals to half CV squared by substituting Q equals to CV into the equation here. And then uh, U equals to half Q squared per C. Okay, so we choose uh, one of them, uh, half CV squared. So the C is 7 microfarad, the total of capacitance from A, question A, and then the voltage across uh, the whole of combination of the capacitor is 50 volt. So we substitute into the equation here. So we get 8.75 times 10 to the power of negative 5 joule. So this is the energy stored in the capacitors, combination of the capacitors. Okay, next we are going to find D. So question D, write an expression for the energy U stored in the parallel plate capacitor with charge Q, area A, and distance of separation S. So using the same formula, so we choose uh, U equals to half Q squared per C. So we can substitute uh, C equals to epsilon naught A per D. So epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. Uh, A is cross section. A is area of the plate of the capacitor, and D is distance of the capacitor. And distance of the capacitor is given uh, S. So we substitute into here, and we simplify this equation become uh, Q squared S per two epsilon naught B. And done. So this is the answer. U stored in the parallel plate capacitor is Q squared S per 2 epsilon naught A. Okay, that's all.